What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, this is very highly requested and it is a very interesting collaboration. One of my favorite brands on the planet, Kit Kat. Yes, the candy that we have all been eating our entire lives has collabed with another brand and bitch, there is Kit Kat makeup. I never thought this day would come. Um, I'm a little shook, but today we're gonna be testing it fully out on the eyes. Um, we're gonna unbox this for the very first time. I have my whole package here that I bought myself. Hi! Um, and we're gonna dive in and see if it's any good, what the hell um, it's about, and really dive in and just give it a good old test. But before we dive into the review, I have a few things to say. Okay, I have a very exciting announcement. This Friday, February 15th, I'm having a huge restock and also a lot of new items are hitting my website. <gasps> Hi, Asthma Attack. Now, the coveted blood sugar palette will finally be back on my site. This has been out of stock for over a month. I am so sorry, we cannot make it fast enough. So we are having a huge restock of this. And then, finally, bam! The first ever Jeffree Star Cosmetics Metal Reusable Straws are hitting the website. This four pack with a cleaner is only $19.99. They are fully customized with my own pink branding with the Jeffree Little logo on there, laser cut, and here is the packaging. I am so, so happy about these. Now we ordered a very heavy, um, I have other colors coming in soon, and we're just gonna have a good old time sipping on straws and not using plastic. And then of course you may be like, Jeffrey, what the hell are you wearing? Also this Friday, um, my tracksuits launch. Jeffree Star Cosmetics has three colors. I'm gonna throw them up on the screen right here. We have of course this gorgeous red, an amazing black with pink, and then of course, pink with white. Um, star monogram. You know I have to do a classic bubblegum. There will be more colors coming in the future, but um, these will retail for $55 for the top and $45 for the bottom, equaling a grand total of $100, which is very fair. Um, I try to always price things very fair, you guys. So everything will be up at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on my site, of course, and yes, hi, Restock. How are ya? Okay, also, before we dive into the review, this is my first time ever. Let's, let, let's have a cheers. Cheers, everybody. This is my first video with my new lips, as we'll say. Hi, I can actually smile, you can see all my teeth. <laughs> um, oh, I can't stop smiling. It's been a really cool weekend. We were off to Miami opening up a Morphe store and I could not stop smiling the entire time. I am healing really good. All the stitches are out and I will do an update um, very soon. There is a tiny bit of silicone um, on this side that he didn't want to get too close to the nerves. So we are going to uh, basically zap it with something, inject it where it is going to dissolve, thank God. So I am a work in progress. Hi. Now, let's play in some makeup. Okay guys, so I saw this online. When it first hit, I was like, oh my god, candy and makeup, sign me up. Now, I've been wanting to work with a candy brand. Someone beat me to it, it's all good. There's a lot of flavors and brands out there. I am just excited to dive in. So, hi, matching tracksuit today. So I bought these off of a website called Beauty Box Korea. Dot com, which is an official retailer for Etude House, which is a brand from South Korea. Um, when I visited Singapore a few years ago, I saw a lot of these stores out there. I've seen their brand a lot throughout the years. I haven't really played with a bunch of it, but today we are. So, um, I bought two of the regular Kit Kats and one of the Strawberry Tiramisu. Look at this packaging. Um, I think it's really cute. Now the cardboard is actually expensive and soft touch. It isn't like, you know, like a cheap, like, you know, y'all know some cheap packaging. This is actually really cute. So as you see, uh, it's a full real Nestle trademarked collaboration. It is official. A lot of the, of course, stuff is in um, a different language. It is in Korean, but it does say in English, the special set consists of Play Color Eyes Mini, Soft Velvety Kit Kat Pouch, and, oh my God, there's candy in this box. And it says a sweet Kit Kat strawberry tiramisu. Oh my, I'm shook. Oh my God, it does. There's I didn't even notice there's ingredients right there. So not only is there a palette in here, there's food. Well, bitch, I have the munchies and I'm lit. <laughs> so let's open it. Now, these retailed for $20.35 each. We love that. Um, let's open it right now. Oh my God. Ooh, okay. You don't have to smell it. So what comes out first? Oh my God. There's a real Kit Kat in here. I'm deceased. Well, I'm really going to open it and try it because I think candy overseas tastes a little better than American. I think they make it with a little uh, fresher ingredients or something because, girl, the food quality is a little better. Oh, wow. It's, it is mini. Okay, so this is the palette versus the box of the Kit Kat. Okay. 
Um, it is, I think, a little smaller than I thought, but it obviously says mini, so it's supposed to be little. Um, now, what else is in here? Oh my god. I think this is like a, oh my, this is like a makeup bag. What the hell? Oh my, oh, it feels nice. It's like a little velvety. Oh my god, I love this. Why am I living? I'm just such a food candy addict. This is like the best thing I've seen in a while. Okay, amazing. I have to open up this other one real quick, and then we're gonna try them on the eyes. Um, this is the chocolate one. I bought two, one to stare at and one to open. So let's open this up. Okay, we dropped the candy, hi. Okay, this is an original Kit Kat bar, Coco Plain, yes. All right, we got that, and then of course we have the um, the box with the palette, here is the mini. It looks really cute, I wanna open it right now. And then of course, one extra pouch. I'll probably give this to Nate to put some marijuana in. Work. First of all, let's open these up. Oh my God, it's so cute. Ooh, okay, so it has a little plastic protector. The shade names are in Korean, so I have no idea what they are. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're doing the smell test right now. Oh, oh my god, it smells like chocolate. Thank you, I, I swear to God, what did I tweet last week? If this don't smell like food, we're gonna have an issue. It smells like chocolate. Okay, let's open up this one. The packaging says that everything is made in Korea. Um, it also says the, I was looking for the net weight on here, but it is not in English, so we are not gonna know what <laughs> what the net weight is today, but you guys can see the pans are obviously smaller. Oh my God, look how cute this is. Okay, there's this one, really cute. Oh my God, I smelled like the strawberry chocolate in there, whoa. I'm not getting tiramisu, but I'm getting like cocoa for sure. I. Sometimes can tell from looking at things if they're gonna swatch good. I have no idea what's about to happen. So I got my fingers ready. Let's play. Now we all know we're gonna about to apply this on our eyes. Finger swatches ain't shit, but I just wanna swatch a few. This metallic one, definitely. Come on, nails, don't do me wrong now. Okay, there's one little guy. Okay, bitch, it's not that pigmented, but we're gonna see how it looks on the eye. It is a little more sheer. Now, a lot of you were tweeting me, Jeffrey, Korean beauty is not really heavy like America. It is supposed to be a little more softer. I totally get that. Um, ooh, that's a cute little mat right there. Work, especially with my little finger swatching. Um, so, do I expect this to be the most insane pigmented thing on the planet? No, but it has to work, obviously, if it wants a stamp of approval, Miss Thing. All right, here's me swatching this again. Okay, that's not bad. Definitely, let's apply it on the lid right now and let's see what happens. Now, as always, we're gonna prep our lids. Where is my primer? With, of course, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, like we always do. Whoa. Look at the weird packaging with like the, the thing coming. I'm so confused. Here, look at this. Let's, here, we'll open it together and try it. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Now in Korea, they have so many flavors of Kit Kats that they don't have in America. Really jealous, really annoyed. Oh my God, look, it looks like real strawberries, little seeds are like, are in there. Oh, you already been to it? Tell me feedback. First impressions. This is really dope. Here goes nothing. Mmm. Why does the strawberry taste fresh? Mm -hmm. And the white chocolate is so good with it. Whoa! Mmm! Bitch, they did that. They did that. So we got both of these little palettes. Look at these cute little nuggets. Usually I hate small things. But today, we're not mad at it. Look at how cute they are. It has the little Kit Kat logo in the pans, which I think is amazing. I love all the touches. Like, it looks very real, very on brand. I'm living. Right, I want to coat my lid with some, uh, a little bit of color here. So let's go in with this one. And we will just do really light brown on the lid first. Now the brush does fit in there. I was afraid that it was gonna be too small, but it kind of reminds me of like Urban Decay Naked, just a little shorter. Now let's take this and let's just press this on the lid and see what happens. It's supposed to be kind of like a very soft nude as kind of like a little base. It definitely is. It's going on cute. Is it a little sheer for my normal liking? Yes, but I'm not mad at it yet. I was unsure about it on this side, but it is a very soft nude color. Love it for just a little base. Um, it's going down velvety. It isn't like patchy or weird. You never know with formula. Obviously, I don't really use this brand a lot, but it's going on really nicely. Obviously, we have no brows. We're just living. Also, my eyes may look a little dry. Bitch, I've been traveling so much. Okay, work. Hi. Now I'm just gonna take like a little brush. 
Oh hi, that blended out easy. All right, that went down really nice. Now let's grab the JS6 Morphe Jeffree Star brush. Hi, shameless plug. How are ya? First of all, these brushes, y'all. If, if you if you saw me uh, cry on Snapchat, bitch, that was just some real tea. Um, I was so proud, so excited. This um, collection was something I've been working on for a while. I have been such a fan um, of Morphe and just to be in their stores and to share this moment, girl. The sellout was so fast, y'all weren't playing. So we are working on a restock. Uh, it should be this month, I am praying, but you guys wiped us clean and we're just waiting for the next shipment. So you better work, bitch. Now let's go into the shade right here. We're just gonna give her a little bam. Okay, it definitely is on the brush. The formula reminds me of like Lorac or something like that, um, where it's a little velvety. It's not like, you know, insane. Bam, and I'm just gonna put that right in my little deep crease. Hi, deep eye sockets. How are we doing today, bitch? If you're someone that just likes a cute little soft bronze eye, bitch, this may be for you. Very easy for on the go. Obviously, I bring so much makeup when I travel, so I don't care. But if you're someone that likes to travel light, this might be a cute moment. There is a little bit of fallout, as you guys can see right here. I don't really ever bake for that, but this shadow definitely has a little bit more fallout than I'm used to on the skin. So we're just gonna take this and some powder and sweep her away real quick. All right, now I'm gonna go over to the Strawberry Tiramisu side, bam, and let's go in with the, hmm, I'm debating, this red is so pretty. Like, look at the red in this one, and then it's like kind of pinky here. I'm on the fence. I wanna deepen the crease a little bit more. So let's take the JS5 blending brush and let's just hit right in there. Does she have any pigment? Yes, it does. Let's just deepen the crease even more so it's really, dark and smoky. Ooh, yes, bitch. Let's go a little bit over here. We'll do a little five minute easy bronze eye and see if this palette wants to let me have it. And it's definitely cute. I thought it was gonna be a little more sheer because a lot of you warned me like Korean makeup is not crazy pigmented, just so you know in advance. And I was like, thank you guys for telling me because I am not the expert in this like section. And not really mad at that at all. It definitely blended out great. So let's take the same brush, and I'm actually gonna go over here, and no, do we wanna pack? We're, we're going back to this brush, sorry. And let's take this kind of like bricky red shade over here. Does it have pigment? Oh wow, it, sh it sure does. And let's really saturate the brush. Come on, Fallout, goodbye. And let's just pack this on uh, the lid, and let's see what happens. Okay, bitch, this is sheer. Is it the worst on the planet? No, but baby, that is sheer. Okay, let's take a little bit more. Okay, definitely not living for the shade. Now, I'm always down to, tr even though this is my own brush, I'm always down to, but you know what? I mean, natural hair bristles put down shadow amazing. They blend great. This color is a little bizarre. So let's go in with something else, just for a quick laugh and see what's gonna happen. All right, let's just go in with this little Morphe um, blender. Let's just, more of like a little crease brush, but you can definitely pack on the lid and nothing's happening. Okay, so the browns have been really cute. This almost like vanished, like girl, not, 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 not the one. That's so weird that that, Color is not really working when all the other ones are doing cute. Like, what the fuck? Let's go in with the gold, just for fun. We're just gonna use them all, honey. I ain't going out tonight. Girl, I'm working on Jeffree Star Cosmetics summer launches. I have so much on my plate, so I'm gonna stay in and just look a little cuckoo. So let's take the gold shade. Let's try to do a little inner corner moment. You see what I'm saying, Chris? Can we zoom in on this, please? Like, it didn't really stick to the skin. It just kind of went Whoa. You see that? Yeah, there's a lot of fallout. A lot, I'm going blind, so let me brush it away. Let's wet the brush, just like we would do with any metallic. Okay, let's go back in. Okay, my brush is wet, hi. All right, let's go back in and let's see what happens. Oh, there's a little bit more payoff. It's still kind of like clumpy, you know what I mean? Like, it's a little crumbly, but it's sticking better, obviously. Not sure how to feel about this yet. The Morphe spray obviously helped, but it just kind of wasn't blending the best, which is so weird because the brown shade, they like nailed, and then it's kind of falling flat. So I'm gonna go back in with this brush. Let's just go in here. We'll just hit here and hit here a tiny bit. 
I'm like, what the hell? And we'll just kind of, yeah, why does that look so cute? And then, I mean, this doesn't look that bad on camera, but the way it blended was not it. It was kind of like, a little rough. And that red, where in the hell did it go? So let's go in with this one. I'm dying to try these two, you guys, like dying. Let's go to this eye. Hi. I'm like, I want to try this shimmer color because it just looks really pretty. So let's just take this brush with no uh, Fix Plus on it yet. Oh wow, it looks crumbly already in, in the pan. Look at that. Mm, okay, let's 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 put it on the lid and let's say a prayer. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just trying to figure out where the color went. Let's try that one more time! Okay, bitch, this may be like just a wash of color, but there is nothing there. I'm like, girl, I thought this was gonna be like shimmery to the gods. Let's go in with this shade on the other side of the brush. This is like a pinky metallic kind of. Like, let's maybe tuck this in here or like, oh no, it's just like not wanting to stick. It's so weird. It's definitely sheer, sheer, sheer. Like, I don't know if I've ever said that word as much on this channel. God, it smells good. I'm like, can we open up one more chocolate? Cause bitch, I'm hungry, but. Mm. It's like I'm looking in the monitor over here and the browns look so pretty and my lid just looks like a big flop. Mm. It's bomb. We haven't tried this dark brown in here. L let's just give it a whirl. Gotta try all the shades. Why does it look so good on the brush? Like, okay, let's just see what happens here. Just feather her out. Hi. Oh, that has the red on it? Are you fucking kidding me? I like how the red showed up a little bit more than it ever did on this eye over here. Y'all, what the fuck? I'm gonna put, let me just put the brown in there so it can blend. The red just looks a mess. I flop, I, I did that flop, you guys, 100%. The, but the chocolate brown shadow under the eye is like cute. It's not bad, like I'm not mad at it at all. Yeah, the shade is laying down so pretty. Even over that like brick red, it still looks cute. What the heck? Huh. Okay, before I finish this review, hi babe. Hi baby. <laughs> Nate was just walking by and I really wanted to try this chocolate. Tiramisu strawberry. What? I know, isn't it amazing? It looks good, that advertising has already sold me. Oh, they killed it. Okay, look in the monitor, what do you think about the eyeshadow since you have no idea if I like it or not? Um, I mean, it kind of looks like it didn't blend more shit. <laughs> I mean... It just kind of looks like some blotches and shit on your eye. Some of the colors, right? Yeah. Sorry, Kit Kat. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts. First of all, smell this. Ooh, that's strong. It's pretty strong. You taste the real strawberries in there? Mm-hmm, I'm down. Amazing. Real chocolate from South Korea. <laughs> yes, mukbang, work. All right, baby, I'm gonna give my final thoughts and I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, let's talk. All right, let's get down to the final thoughts. Now, I think you all saw me trip out um, at every shade, well, uh, let's, let's look at both of them right now, original and the strawberry tiramisu. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, I feel like I'm tripping out right now. Why did all of the brown hues work really nice and pretty on the eye, but everything else was a miss? So this one, at least there's one, two, oh my God, we never tried this one, you guys, we flopped. We're doing it right now. At least this palette has more browns than this one where it's like, okay, at least it works. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna press it over the red, how about that? Oof. Straight up mud. Look at that. And maybe the shadow shouldn't layer, but you know, other palettes I've used layer. Oh, they can, you can kind of see the sparkle at least. Yes. I'm packing. I am packing the color on like it hurts my lid how much I'm packing. For some reason, all the brown shades were great. I am really shocked and confused. The metallics in this palette were not it. They definitely give you a wash of color. Very sheer. Before I say anything positive, I just want to get it out of the way. I may break a few hearts out there that you, that live for candy, but the Etude Kit Kat eyeshadow palettes are not going to be approved only because 
all the colors didn't work. Like, the browns are cute. So here's the thing. Let, let's talk about a few positives. I love packaging. I will buy something, which you guys saw, I literally bought two of these just to stare at it. It's gonna lay out my vanity where you're gonna be able to see the pans. It's gonna look really cute. Everyone that comes in is gonna be like, oh my god, what is that? Good, good, come on, you wanna put on a little show here. But as far as formula, for some reason, only the brown shades worked. I don't know why, it is very bizarre. So if you want to buy this for fun, um, I, I liked the experience. I thought it was really fun to have candy in there and to have a little pouch. It was definitely um, a different experience than just opening a, up a normal palette. So I liked it, the candy was bomb, Nate loved it. I think the packaging is literally so cute, A+, plus, but the formula is obviously very hit or miss. I would definitely keep this for fun, but there's so many palettes that have this color hue. You're definitely buying it for the name brand and if you love Kit Kats, so um, definitely check it out if you want to. It is obviously not a must. It is just a very cute, niche thing in the beauty community that I'm really glad that I tried. I had a lot of fun today. I think that's what is cool about makeup is it should be fun. Um, so I am very glad that I tested this out. Thank you all for always sending me cool products to try out. I died when I saw this, but um, all right, you guys saw what the real tea is. I'm more hungry now, and I think it's time to go take a hit downstairs and relax. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's review, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.